Hey guys, this is Stacy from eatthebite.com, and today I'm making garlic shrimp crostini with romesco sauce and shaved parmesan. Let me show you how to make it. We need French bread for this crostini, so there's two kinds you can buy at the store, the thicker loaf and the thinner one. For this recipe, we need to use the thinner loaf because this is a better size for a small appetizer, whereas a larger loaf would make for a heartier appetizer or entree size portion. So we're gonna go with the thinner loaf for this recipe. Next, I'm going to cut the bread into about three quarter inch slices. After that, I'm gonna transfer the bread to an aluminum foiled pan that fits in my toaster oven. I've got a little olive oil here in a bowl and I'm gonna use my pastry brush to blot it on the tops of the bread. After that, I'm gonna do just a very light sprinkling of dried thyme on the tops of the bread. And then I'm going to set that aside for now. We'll need to finely dice some garlic for this, so as usual, I like to thinly slice my garlic cloves first, then dice them down into finer bits from there. Next, I have some chives, and I love chives, but they're also a pain in the butt because they go bad so quickly. I've already weeded through them once now, and now I'm doing it again to pick out any bad ones that I missed. Next, I'll give the chives a fine chop, and when I'm done, I'm going to set that aside to garnish the crostini later. I've got a chunk of Parmesan cheese and I'm going to cut a piece off that. What I'm trying to do here is match the size of the slice of cheese with the size of the crostini. So I shaved off one slice and it's a perfect fit for the bread. Now I'll slice the remaining pieces just like you see here. And they're very thin, so it's a subtle but important flavor we're adding to the crostini. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna set that aside with my garlic and chives. Next, it's time for our little shrimpies. I'm using the medium raw shrimp, easy peel, and deveined for this. We'll start by gently pinching the tails off and making sure we leave all that tail meat intact. The shell peels off really easy after that. And this is the deveined area, which has a black strip that's removed before packaging, so make sure you're buying the deveined kind. We're going to follow the same process for all the shrimp. We're going to pinch and pull the tail off and then peel the rest of the shell off after that. Once you're finished, we're gonna season that with salt and pepper on one side. I've had my oil heating in a pan and it's time to add my little shrimpies. Once they're in the pan, just spread them out so they're all laying flat. We're gonna let those cook a couple of minutes on one side and then just turn them over to cook the other side. Make sure you have your kitchen tongs ready too to help with the turning. After they cook another couple of minutes, I'm going to add some oil in the middle of the pan and then add that fresh garlic. Just let it cook in the center by itself for a minute until it's fragrant, and then mix it to combine with the shrimp. You can also add a little chopped parsley here as well if you'd like and give it a stir. That's optional. While the shrimp was cooking, I turned on my broiler in the toaster oven and I did crisp up my bread. And now we're ready to assemble the appetizer. I lined up my toasty bread on my cutting board and transferred the shrimp into a bowl. I've got that incredible romesco sauce ready to go, and I'm going to start by taking a heaping teaspoon of romesco sauce and spreading it onto the bread. Once all the crostini is covered, we'll take those Parmesan slices and add one to each crostini. After you've added cheese to all the crostinis, it's time to add that gorgeous garlic shrimp. I'm putting two medium shrimp per crostini, which is why the medium-sized shrimp is best for this. It makes the perfect two bite appetizer with one shrimp per bite. For the platter, I put some romesco sauce in a squeeze bottle and I garnish the platter with little dots of the sauce. Next, I added those fresh chives from earlier and let's take a closer look at our garlic shrimp crostini with romesco and parmesan. Of course, you know I made a couple of extra for myself and now it's time to eat the bite. I'm telling you guys, the garlic shrimp, shaved parmesan, and that incredible versatile romesco sauce is a fantastic combination. And this really was the perfect two bite appetizer. So if you're looking for an hors d'oeuvre idea for your next gathering, I hope you give this one a try because it is awesome. If you enjoyed this video, you should definitely like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, you'll find this and all the printable recipes over on my website at eatthebite.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.